Resident Evil. Well, I guess I might as well start the episode here. No place better, I suppose. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with me, Oxfu. And we've made it to the Antarctic base with Chris. What lies in store for us here, besides tentacles, I have no idea. Although, if they're able to be more imaginative with how the T-Virus works, than tentacles, I would be very surprised. I wasn't expecting anything of the kind. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Antarctic base, let's go. I mean, it's not really much of a uh, the forewarning because the uh, oh, that's the emergency evacuation. Uh, Elevator. We're not here to evacuate yet. We're here to get folks out. Ah, there's a tentacle. By the way, I realized. I never really, uh... Is that all we have to do? Just shoot it? Ah, there we go. I realized I never actually went back and checked this. Also, I don't think that hole there was was there before. Which mean that means that tentacle just bored through that wall all by its lonesome. Ooh, we've made some power. Ooh, some powerful enemies. We're gonna have to do this all day. Come on. All right. That actually hurt me. No, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, so these are more of a, an annoyance and an ammo drain than anything else, it seems. It seems. I may be wrong, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh. We kept the uh, halberd pin or whatever. Guess we'll have to use it for something else. Alright. Oh, jeez. <sighs> I wasn't expecting it to be quite so bright, the nerd felt... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Okay. So... There's a layer of ice, it looks like, and a giant spider. Things have turned from bad to worse. Also, I just was not expecting it to be so glaringly bright as it was. Uh... Is it... Oh, it's just a sheet of ice. Well, you know what they said about walking out on the ice, kids. Make sure you get your parents to check if it's thick enough. But Chris is an adult. He'll be fine. Right? Oh! No, well... It's a body. I want to see more of the body. Is it just, uh... Oh, help. These guys were not here before. What's going on? Did, uh... A special units team get sent out or something? Is there going to be an extra story like they have in Resident Evil 2? Where, uh... Uh, what's his what's his face? Where you play as a special commando? I still haven't played that scenario, by the way. I should get on that. But uh, uh looks like everything's still running smoothly. Thank goodness. Of course, now that we've got so much ambient ice. <laughs> Seriously, this this uh this main room was brighter than when we turned on the the power with Claire. Oh, it's almost blinding. It's a welcome relief, trust me. After the rest of this game, whew. Now, question is, can we just jump down? 
We can? That's a bad idea, I'm feeling, though. <laughs> See, I wonder if we, uh, walk across the ice, is the, uh, spider gonna come right after us? Oh! Hey, they can get out now. Which means they're ripe to be killed. Well. Cage may be gone, but it doesn't look like they'll be getting at me anytime soon. Oh. Oh. More of you guys. <laughs> doesn't help though, that's an absolute idiot with the shotgun still. Ah, come on. Nope. There we go. Alright. Now there was... a briefcase in here. I'm going to leave the Duraluminum case because, uh... I'll take those. But the, uh, the case I can't do with anything with until I get a lockpick. Which means I'll probably be meeting Claire at some point. Just checking my health. No. However, will we be able to break down the dura aluminum case or whatever? It's absolutely hopeless. Wait, was there a point uh, at which we used the uh, we needed the eagle seal? Maybe we'll be fabricating another one out of its, uh, raw materials. That'd be neat. I am terrified of that spider. And I know we're gonna have to fight it at some point. Oh! Oh, god damn it. What? He's here? God damn it. D Chris, you're an idiot. Chris! You're you're freaking idiot. I hate, I hate you. <laughs> it's coming at you so slowly and then you're just what do I do? Freaking idiot. <laughs> I wonder if I can shoot those things. That might work. At that or it would be the worst idea I could ever have. We'll see. Shall what shall we not? Almost tried making my own uh, abbreviation right there. Instead of shall we not, instead of shallant we or something like that. I almost said shon't we. It's won't we. Or shan't we. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. There's a small square hollow. There's a notice. You can drain the water under the following conditions to clean the tank to exchange the water. I can do it if I want. You're not the boss of me. You're probably dead. Whoever wrote that notice. I can do what I want. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? No! Do not push the switch. That's... Okay, push the switch. Some sort of a barrel or... Oh, an extinguisher. Ah, I know where we can find a fire extinguisher. I think. I know where there should be a chest where we can get a fire extinguisher. Yeah. Oh. Let's slowly walk away. <laughs> The problem is, I can't really get a good idea of the depth of their beam. Okay, it seemed to be good there. Like, it, it feels like it's moving. I can't really get a lock on how far away it is from me. I should have actually just gone to the chest. This is a foolish idea. I could have saved. No. <laughs> nah. Okay. New plan. New plan. 
What I'm doing right now is foolish and dumb. I'm risking everything just to explore. And not even exploring places where I know there might be something. I'm just being kind of dumb and, uh... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Aha! Uh... No! Damn it. No! I'm just being so dumb right now. Oh god, no, 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 we had it equipped. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, is he down? He looks like he's breathing. That's a cue to run, Alex. <sighs> okay, come, okay. We're out of there. It's okay. You can't follow us yet. Yeah, to operate the crane, I also need there to not be a sheet of ice over everything. No, it doesn't seem to be uh, drawn by my running footsteps. Maybe the crane is so I can actually break the ice. I don't know. Anyway. Out of there. You idiot. Oh. I'm gonna check this room because I know this room to be sort of... No way, what am I talking about? This room isn't safe at all. This is a barracks. Um, it's a barracks. Of course there are gonna be zombies in there. Uh, you know, I'm going to the room where I know there's a save point and I know there is a chest. Maybe the moths are gone because it's so cold now. Nope. Monster might have been the killer. Good detective work, Chris. How'd you ever come up with that? I don't know. It was just a hunch. <laughs> All right. I got it. Where is fire extinguisher? But more than that, there we go. Pink ribbons. I am saving, and there's nothing you can do about it. Chris. That's actually been a while since I saved. I had to replay some as well, so. And, well, I was going to say, and looky here. But then I had to go and ruin what the surprise was going to be. It's going to open the, the liquor cabinet. Oh my god. Uh, Alfred Ashford Paperweight. Guess he likes to play a dice game with uh, his initials. I, I don't know. Alfred's Diary. <laughs> I am Alfred Ashford. There's a sealed room in the hallway, located inside of the Antarctic facility. I don't know what is hidden there, but I do know how to get in. I can use the three jewels that each one of our three family members wear as proof of being a legitimate descendant of the Ashford family. And the only problem is, I do not know how I can gain possession of my father's proof. February 17th. I finally succeeded in entering that sealed room. I never could have imagined that such an insane secret existed regarding the birth of both Alexia and myself. I hate my father, that fool Alexander. Now, it is obvious that we were merely created in an attempt to cover my father's blunder. I can never trust him again. I must regain the glory of the, Af of the Ashford family with my sister. I have nothing to be afraid of as long as Alexia is with me. March 3rd. Alexia carried out the experiments on the human body that we've been talking about. 
Our useless father must be happy now, since he can finally con contribute to the Ashford family. The only thing we should be careful about is that the butler, Harmon, does not become wise to our activities. April 22nd. The experiment resulted in failure. Our father was useless after all. Even worse, he turned into a dangerous monster that is completely out of control. We tied him down and locked him up in an, an underground prison cell. However, Alexia seems to be close to a solution. Beyond all my expectations, she now says that she wishes to conduct the experiment on her own body. On top of that, she feels she must be kept asleep for 15 years in order to accomplish the experiment. Thanks to that idiot, I can't see my dear Alexia for as long as 15 years. Alexia is going to sleep with all of her trust relying on me. Now, I am the only one who can protect Alexia. <laughs> oh, something else here. A uh, good bottle of wine. No, just ink ribbons. Damn. All right, so we gotta get the family seals for the Ashford family, it looks like. Also, it seems like uh, Mr. Tall, gray, and thousands of arms was Alfred's own father, Alexander. Well, seems the dark twists of this family's secrets are deeper and darker than I ever imagined. <laughs> No, I don't, no, I don't want to. I want to take some of the cigars. Just you know, have a good time. Cause that's what you do with cigars, right? You just come on. You just you 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 celebrate by smoking a cigar, right? Anyway, I'm done trying to make unfunny jokes for the next five seconds. Whoa, whoa, this seems to be some kind of nest. It's rather big. I don't think that this nest can be removed. Oh boy. So, here's the question. Do I want to go fight a giant spider? Or do I want to fight something in the dark? Exactly, Chris. I think it's time to fight a giant... Oh, phew. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to fight a giant spider, but boy, did that actually scare me. Oh. What? Get, get it off of me. Get, get... Chris, get it off of you. But yeah, like that. Come on. Where did that... What? What? Where did, where did that even come from? <laughs> Do you jump out of the guy's head or something? Oh, well. I guess I don't have a choice about fighting the giant spider. <laughs> I, like how, I like how this guy's just sideways against the wall. Everybody else is... is Oh, I guess that guy's sideways against the wall as well. I was thinking, like, this guy's just hanging out. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was amusing how he's pasted to the wall like that. Alright, so... Wait a minute. I can't seal the gas right now. Or not seal the gas. I can't lower the water right now because uh, Claire had the wheel with the square hole in it. Did he? Was it square? No, it was it octagonal? All right. Well, I'm gonna see what's waiting for us in here. Man, 
know what's waiting in <laughs> Zombies. Come on. It's a Resident Evil game. What else were we waiting for us? Well, plenty of other things, but I, I know zombies. Come on. Of course, I know. <laughs> I just wanted to check. Maybe. I could have hoped that maybe... Oh. Yes. I... I uh, wow, I completely missed that. I Whoa, I completely missed these, too. Unless they weren't there before. Maybe. Maybe it's Wesker again. Leaving me, uh... Supplies. Hmm. Worker's Diary. <laughs> like, can either be like, when I join Umbrella Inc., or I could be like, when I join Umbrella Inc., <laughs> I could either do like, stereotypically burly man or stereotypically like skinny nerdy dude. Skinny nerdy white dude. So, when I join Umbrella Inc., I thought I would be able to live carefree for the next. Now, I'm doing a southern accent again. I always do a southern accent. I thought I would be able to li live carefree for the rest of my life, being employed by this huge corporation. It's a joke that I ended up being a driver at the place like at a place like this. I asked for a position change, but they completely ignore ignored me. It feels more like a prison. Work is extremely demanding, and there's nothing fun about it. I'd rather be dead. There we go, that's a voice. November 3rd, my hard-earned vacation was cancelled suddenly. I can't believe this. I heard they failed to secure enough manpower due to a mistake made by the facility head, Alfred. That fool doesn't deserve forgiveness. He doesn't even treat us like human beings. November 5th, I have heard an interesting story from a guy who's been working here for over eight years. He must be awfully patient. I mean, I can't take another day of this. They haven't even given me my paycheck in, like, two weeks. They said they didn't have enough allocated to payroll and other people needed it more. He says that there's a man who's been confined for over ten years, locked up in a cell located deep down below here. People call him Nosferatu and are deathly afraid of him. What an absurd story. I mean, the thing that these people come up with. Anyway, November 10th, I'm still here, but at midnight I, work up, well, I woke up to an ominous growling sound that seems to be coming from deep underground. I'm so pathetic to have been frightened by such a foolish story. Then again, I suppose if any, but if anyone would have had a hard time maintaining their sanity if they were confined in a place like this, I mean, come on. I get. I guess I. I'm not really gonna put in my two weeks. I mean, I get. I get dental, and a pretty decent medical plan. So I, you know, with that Obamacare coming on, it's good to have a better health care plan, so I guess I'll stay on for a little while. <laughs> Channeling all my co-workers at once. <laughs> Not the voices, just the... <laughs> anyway. That, that happened. 